is how to easily crop areas of videos, images, stickers, and GIFs for free using the freehand crop tool in Clipchamp. Start by heading over to clipchamp.com and then log in or create your free account. I've put the link in the description below. Once logged in, you'll be taken to the homepage where you'll click on the create a new video button. Then you'll be taken straight into the editor. The first thing you'll need to do is import the asset that you want to crop. By heading over to the import media button, selecting the asset and hitting open, it will load into your media library over here. Now add your video into the timeline by dragging and dropping it in just like this. Next, to crop your video, click on the asset in your timeline. It will highlight in green so that you know it's selected. Then navigate up to the floating toolbar where all of the editing options will appear. Click on the crop button and now you can use the freehand tool to crop your asset by using your cursor to drag the corners and sides just like this. Crop your asset to your desired size and then once you're happy, click on the done button in the floating toolbar to action the adjustment. If you want to redo your crop, click into the crop button again and then click the revert to original button and the asset will adjust back to its original size. Next, you might have to make some adjustments with the positioning of your video, as your cropped asset may have a black background or border because it's no longer in its original aspect ratio. So to reposition it into place and to resize it, just click on the asset in your timeline and then use the freehand tool to move the asset anywhere you'd like on the stage. Then to resize it, just drag the corners around until you're completely happy. Now, if you'd like your video to fit into the aspect ratio, navigate over to the floating toolbar and select the fit option, then click on the fill option. This will then expand your cropped asset into the aspect ratio you've selected. Now, if you'd like to keep the asset in the cropped size and not fit the full screen, add in a background to hide the black border. You can do this by either importing your own asset for the background by following the same import steps as before, or use one of our stock background assets by navigating over to the content library, clicking the drop down arrow in the visuals tab, then selecting backgrounds. You can either use the search bar to search for something very specific or jump into one of our categorized background collections, such as graphic backgrounds. Inside the collection, you can hover over each of the background options for a bit of a preview on what they look like. Then when you found the one that you want to use, drag and drop it into the timeline below your video asset. And now you'll have an awesome background behind your cropped video. Once you're completely happy with your video, you can go ahead and export it by heading to the export button, selecting your video quality, and then once the export is complete, it's saved to your computer and it will download straight to your device all ready for you to share. And that's how to crop any asset with Clipchamp. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos.